Hello, my name is Dr Emma Laurie and I'm an Associate Professor at the Law School at Southampton. I'd like to talk to you about a very interesting question that has arisen in relation to the COVID pandemic that we're currently experiencing. But in fact, it exemplifies a much broader question in many areas of the law, and particularly the one I'm interested in, which is the relationship between landlords and tenants. And that question is how the law balances different interests. So let me first put two scenarios to you. First, a group of tenants, let's say they're students, as you will be when you come to Southampton, and you are renting um, a house in Southampton where you're living um, while you're at university. But you have another family home, and at the outbreak of the pandemic, quite naturally, you want to leave Southampton and go back to your family home. And you obviously don't want to be paying rent on the home in Southampton that you're not living in. OK, that's our first group. Our second group, then, are tenants who, for them, this is their main family home and they want to stay. But because of the pandemic, they can't afford to pay the rent. Perhaps they've been furloughed um, and the money just doesn't cover the rent or perhaps they've been made unemployed. So this is the tenants interests. Now, we might sympathise with both of the groups very much and think they shouldn't have to pay the rent. But let's also think of the other party. And that is the landlord. So the landlord who owns the home is entitled to the rent payment, is what the, the parties have agreed to. The landlord might need it to pay a mortgage they have on the property, or they might just need the money for their own income to live on. Now, what can the law do in that situation in terms of balancing these two different interests? Well, the first thing the law can do is simply leave it to the individual parties to resolve, the landlord and the tenant. And in law, that would be simply a matter of contract law. What does the agreement between the parties say? Does it say that a tenant can leave the home early and stop paying the rent? Does it say the, the tenant can have a period of not paying the rent and not be evicted because of it, which would be unusual, I must say. So that's the first possibility. And in fact, that is what is happening to our first group of tenants, to the students who want to go home and not pay rent. It is simply a matter of looking at your individual contract with your landlord to see if that's permissible. Now, the alternative is to have intervention via Parliament, which can introduce legislation to deal with a particular situation. So we don't just leave it to the individual parties. Parliament puts in place legislation, in this case, the Coronavirus Act 2020, that deals with the situation that our second group of tenants find themselves in. They can't um, pay the rent because um, they've lost their job. They have no income. So what has actually happened is that under the Coronavirus Act, Section 81 makes provision that landlords can't um, evict tenants until the 23rd of August. When it was first introduced, the deadline was in June, but obviously we are still in a, a fairly bad position as far as 
the pandemic is concerned, it's recently now been extended to um, 23rd of August. But in terms of what the law should do, then there is no single right answer. Now, obviously, the government has chosen to protect the tenants who are living but not being able to pay rent by providing that landlords can't evict them. Is that the right thing to do? You might very well say, isn't that quite unfair to landlords? Shouldn't they be able to evict so they can get in new tenants who will pay the rent? Another unintended consequence, I, I suggest to you it's unintended, has recently come to light that Section 81 of the Coronavirus Act simply says there shall be no eviction. It doesn't say there shall be no eviction because of rent arrears. And there is some evidence to suggest that um, even tenants who are behaving badly, acting antisocially, can't be evicted because of the Coronavirus Act. Now, is that right? As I said, there is no single right answer. And that is the beauty of law. There is no single right answer. People will legitimately disagree. Thank you.